Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of middleweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Ricky Hatton's not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card, ready to punch in and get to work. Miguel Cotto's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. tonight here's the first really good work right there landing the two punches in sequence by Ricky Hatton you can sense it right away Teddy looks like it's a tactical bout tonight well that's what happens when you get two counter punches nobody wants to leave off to the side a little swing and a miss going upstairs He's got to cut just under his eye, and that's actually good news for him. I know it looks ugly, but that's better than being above the eye. Ricky Hatton blocks that punch. Miguel Cotto's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Miguel Cotto. Two guys that can really take each other out. What's the best means of defense? Well, if one guy says to himself, I'm not the power puncher, then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nothing there on the punch by Miguel Cotto. One, but gives one. Good work by Ricky Hatt. Good job staying away from the danger there. Double jab there by Ricky Hatt. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. 